Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna insert a clip from last year. I just have to keep on being consistent. I have to keep on recording these videos. I have to keep on making content for Culture Day. I have to keep on thinking of new ideas and the other things that I've got going on. I have to keep on doing it. Even if I can't see the finish line. Oh, I like that one. If I can't, <laughs> sorry. I can't see the finish line. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon. So this is one of those like races that David Goggins does. That the finish line is like miles, miles, miles away. You can't see it yet. But if you don't start running, you're never going to finish the race. Even if you don't start walking, if you don't start crawling, if you don't start dragging yourself across the floor, if you don't move, you're not going to run the race ever. And it's, just you in the race, remember? So it's not about who gets there first. It's <laughs> everyone else to mind their business. Right, so everything I was saying in that video was facts, right? And that video is from like last summer, summer 2021. But I didn't follow through on what I said because I spoke about being consistent and all of these things and continuing even when you don't see the finish line and sorry i wrote down the main things of what i said um and like not comparing yourself that you're in your own race and then just kind of let life squash me like a bug <laughs> in terms of consistency what i've learned now which is why i'm doing another video is like how do you stay consistent because to me consistency was okay for my videos weekly like i'm always going to be putting out content blah 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 but i wasn't content planning I'd plan that and say, okay, I want to do videos about this, this, and this. But I wasn't, like, filming, having a content day, filming, and then just having to post it out, like, preparing my captions and blah, blah, to make it easier. So, basically, what I'm trying to say is I didn't have a system in place. And what I'm learning now is how important systems are. Like, everything runs on a system. Anything that works runs on a system. And if you don't have a system... I didn't have a system, so I couldn't do YouTube because now when I'm super busy, I can't film content. I film content. Do you know how many times I film content, but I didn't have time to edit and release it. So it's just still in my camera roll from like last year. Now that I have a system, so I have days when it's like, okay, today's a content day. On this day, I'm filming amongst like other stuff that I'm doing. And then on Sundays, I edit and I prepare my captions and I do all of these stuff. I schedule my YouTube videos all of these things so just putting a system in place really helps with consistency i feel like consistency is always like tied into motivation and stuff which sometimes it can be it depends on what you're talking about for example with gym staying consistent i have to wake up no but then again that's a system when i say to myself okay if i wake up on time i'm gonna go to the gym i'm probably not gonna go to the gym because i'm not gonna go to bed on time so that i can wake up on time because i'm saying if i'm leaving it to chance but if i have a system where i say i go to bed at this time and i wake up at this time so that i can go to the gym i know that's the system if i break the system then i break it but that is what works so it's finding something that works and implementing it to be consistent sometimes you don't have motivation but motivation comes after you start so implement the system first then motivation will come and then results you'll see results um so i'm working on that consistency now you guys hopefully next year i won't be doing the same video again talking about oh i wasn't consistent again but my plan is to be consistent now i'm home i'm in my own place like there's no reason why i can't film content like my mom's not working from home in another room i'm not in a uni place where there's other students making noise and stuff i don't i'm single so there's no <laughs> sorry like there's no one hair in my space in it where i feel uncomfortable or whatever i feel cringe for filming so <laughs> that was very awkward i didn't mean to say i'm single like that but anyway so i spoke about consistency um the other thing i said was even when you can't see the finish line go and it's very foggy outside right now. Obviously, I live on the 11th floor. Let me show you guys, actually. It's actually not foggy outside anymore. I probably should have looked outside before I opened my mouth. But it was, like, really foggy earlier. 
Obviously, I live on the eleventh floor, so I can see Coventry, but I could not see anything. And that reminded me, like I spoke on Coach Adoise on my story about like continuing when you can't see the finish line you can't see 10 steps ahead of you but you can see one step ahead of you and you have to take that step and you won't see the 10th step until you get to the ninth one which directly goes into everything else i said which was about if you don't move you don't ever race like if you're not moving you're just stagnant you're just still but life is always moving the earth is always turning the sun is always rising and falling so is the moon everything is always going for a process so being stagnant you should be scared <laughs> now what i was trying to talk about is not moving and that's progress in life if you're not change is always happening and so you have to embrace it and that's i think what the movement is is that transformation through change moving with the seasons um yeah it just makes it easier if you go with the flow of things and move as well because if you're trying to stay stagnant in this life it doesn't work because life is constantly moving forward and so you're gonna get left behind there is no still like if you're if you're still on something that's moving you can't be still so you either go with it or you let it just drag you around in it um the next thing was that it is only you in the race that's what i said i had compared myself so much this year it was horrible and then i finally realized what i was doing and i was like ebony like not comparing myself in a negative way but like people that i want to be like but i'm beating myself up i'm saying oh ebony be more like this be more like this not remembering that first of all i'm on my own journey secondly like the people that i'm comparing myself to big people you know like they're not my age mates like even what i'm doing for my age mate everyone's just like oh yeah i forget that you're so young and i'm here beating myself up because i haven't accomplished or i haven't done as well as someone who's in a completely different stage of their life to me and i'm like oh so now i'm appreciating like the inspiration but then also not beating myself up about it because that does not help me it does not serve me in any way shape or form and that's the kind of, that's the kind of comparison that i'm talking about so yeah it's okay to want to do better and blah 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 but then also understanding that you are where you are and it is a process like i'm trying to improve one specific thing in my life which is like a, it has a big hold on me i'll be well and if I mess up, I want to beat myself up and be like, other people are not. I don't even know. That's the thing. I don't even know if I, other people suffer with this problem. It's not even that I'm suffering in silence. It's just that I don't want to talk about it. I just want to deal with it. But I'm looking at other people like, oh, they've got it on lock. And maybe they don't. So I don't now pay attention to me. And when I do pay attention to me, I can notice when... I'm about to make the mistake and stop rather than making it and then being like, oh, but everyone else is better than me. The last thing was related to the being in your own race. But at the end, I was saying, like, it's your own race, so tell everyone to mind their business. But now I'm saying tell everyone to mind their business as a separate thing completely. And it's not about, like, being secretive and private obviously there's being private be private whatever you don't have to tell go and tell no man is the saying that i'm looking for but when i'm talking about tell people to mind their business people might see what you're doing or people might be working with you in the team and say oh no not in a team but like it's about people giving advice right and i'm not saying they shouldn't take advice someone might tell you that you're going too fast or you're going too slow you know you you communicate with whatever you believe in obviously i believe in god you might believe in oneness in source whatever the universe those messages that tell you to do what you do at the pace that you're doing it at whatever where you are in your journey come to you they don't come to anyone else so someone might come to me and be like ebony you know you don't have to work every day and like 
yeah let's just take that as an example Ebony you know you don't have to work every day and I'm like I know but this is what I've been told to do like this is what I'm meant to be doing I have stuff to do I don't know how else to describe it like someone else might not get it someone might think she's trying too hard someone might think she's not trying hard enough but only you can live up to your own standard you set the standard you get to decide no one decides for you and if you're letting people decide for you then as an adult though because don't get it twisted i feel like I don't even feel like I know that there's young people on the internet listening to stuff like this and be like, cool, I can do what I want. No, you can't because you haven't learned and grown. That's what I kind of did without having that guidance there, like from a certain age. So I was like, cool, like I got this, I can do it on my own. And I learned the hard way. If you want to go out there and learn the hard way, that's your business. But then eventually when you do learn those lessons, you can even listen to someone teaching you the lesson and you can go and learn the lesson yourself. Once you've learned the lesson, don't repeat that mistake that's it and that's my issue because i used to repeat the mistake and so when people are talking to me and they're telling me oh you don't need to follow that rule you know like if someone tells me you don't need to be vegan bro yes i do because when i'm not i feel horrible i haven't been eating vegan yeah okay i was gonna say look at my skin but my skin looks okay right now so i was just getting loads of spots and stuff i'd show you my hand but it's actually really not like, I don't want anyone to look at this. And my graduation is tomorrow. And that's because I was influenced by people around me who don't have the same body as me, as in my body cannot take me anymore. As much as it tastes nice, and I want to eat it, it feels horrible. And I just have to stop. But again, that's just a quick example of how something that applies to someone else doesn't apply to me. What applies to me don't apply to you. What applies to you don't apply to the next person. And so it's about focusing on yourself and knowing what to do for yourself. And that's what, when I say about messages and communication, when you meditate and you're still, you get those messages. And that's when you hear them. When you're being still, when you're not overthinking, 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 because you can hear whatever. You might think it's your ancestors. You might think it's God. You might think it's whatever. I don't know. For me personally, I know that it's God telling me what to do and guiding me to walk in my purpose. And so, yeah, that is like what I wanted to say based on the video that I inserted from my last video. I might do a couple more because right now I'm at a place where I'm reflecting over the last couple of years. I'm watching old videos and I'm like, so like i don't understand if i can say these things and i have this knowledge and i apply it sometimes why am i not applying it all the time because this year the things that i was talking about last year especially to do with self-love i did not love myself for a long time this year which is probably why i look so tired right now anyway it's a learning curve and i'm getting there now which is the important thing but um I'm just going back through my old videos and being like, wow, there's some there's some real gems in there, you know. So if you haven't seen them, um, go back and look. If not, you can just wait for new videos to come out. If this is your first time here, you, you just, I don't know, like, comment, subscribe, share. I don't mind. If you watch this, if you don't watch this, if you, like, the point of me doing this before was like, oh, I want to be a YouTuber, so I'm going to go on YouTube. And now it's like, I have so much to say. I'm tired of chatting off people's ears who don't really want to hear it. Like it's just wrong time, whatever. Or feeling like the burning desire to talk about all of these things and about spirituality and about progression and all of these things and mindfulness with people who just don't get it. Not even that they don't get it, but they don't want to talk about it. So this is just for me to express myself literally and explore my thoughts in public which can be scary i was deep in the other day i think i posted something and everyone was like oh my god this is so good and i'm like oh that's nice because i didn't really know that anyone would, would react that way to it 
and i was like ebony okay cool yeah that's nice i said thank you don't get hung up on it because that's you sharing what's going on inside your head one day you're gonna share something going on inside your head and they're not gonna agree and when that day comes you guys can lose sleep me i'm not losing sleep because i'm just being myself do you get it like i know me i know where i'm coming from i know what i've learned in this life and on my journey and you know you and what you've learned on this journey and what you believe in your values ah my feed is ready alexa stop but yeah i guess what i'm trying to say is know yourself build systems um take baby steps if you have to but be moving and don't compare yourself see you guys in another video